So I'm going to show you how you can create this really interesting and cool looking trippy visuals. And you can make this in all kinds of interesting shapes. And this one here, I don't remember exactly how I did this one. But when you get the blueprint set up that I'm going to show you, you can create um, your own style. So this is just really cool and interesting looking stuff. And I'm also going to show you how you can do this. How you can animate it as well in a nice flowy paste. And if you can like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And now let's get into it. Okay, so remember that you can just pick a shape and go a little bit uh, wild. So you don't need to bring in a circle here, but maybe the first time it's just a good idea to follow along in this uh, tutorial. And here, what you can do is go control and two and then just subdivide and smooth out these edges with bringing in, in a subdivision modifier. So now if you jump into edit mode, we can go E and S and then just extrude in these um, circles here. So this doesn't need to be exact at all, but uh, we are going to use these um, circle edges for a wireframe a little bit later on. So let's open up the timeline, jump into the shader editor and then just click on new. So the node setup is also going to be super easy. So just delete this principle BSDF and we're going to bring in an emission and connect this emission into the surface and set the strength to three. And we're also going to bring in an image texture. And the key with this image uh, texture node things is to pick an image that um, has a lot of color or has a lot of brightness or both. Okay, so you want to go for something like this, maybe not for something that's mostly black. So let's just bring that in here and then just uh, connect the color into the emission like that. And now we can also bring in a camera. And if we go control, alt and zero, we can just snap this camera into view like this and then also bring it a little bit back. So now the next thing here is to activate this uh, emission. So if you open up the compositor and then just check this box for use nodes, you can just search for a clear node. Then just drop it in like that. And here is where the magic is happening. So instead of setting this uh, to bloom, we are going to use this uh, really cool ghost effect. And we also go and set the quality here to high and to activate this ghost effect to see it in real time. We need to change the mode from solid mode into render mode and click this drop down thing here and set this to always. So now we have some um, stuff going on here. Let's also just go into the shader editor and also into world. And then just bring the environment all the way down to black like that. So now we have um, this thing here. And if you go back into the compositor, what we can do is actually remove the visibility of this object by bringing up this mixer all the way to one. Right? It's depending if you want to see the object or not. And jump back into solid mode here and uh, we have all of these rings here so let's do something with them so let's go and bring in a wireframe here and hold on shift and then we're just going to bring down the thickness to somewhere around yeah so just uh, play around with it and i think this is nice and if we go back now we don't see a thing, so we need to bring the thickness a little bit up somewhere around here. And um, yeah, so this doesn't look uh, as cool.
cool as you saw in the beginning of the video so we need to do some more stuff here and the first thing we can do is go into the uh, shader editor and then just click on this image texture node and go control and t and bring in this texture coordinate and a mapping node now we can just change this uh, to generated and then we suddenly have some colors so um, from here we can go and open up um, a new window let's bring in a timeline and i always like to work with more frames than other blender tutorials so i'm going to go for 1000 and the reason for that is just because i like longer animations so from here we can play around with this mapping node and create um, all kinds of cool looking light effects like that right and just to show you real quick if you want to animate this in a fast way you can just go hash frame and divide it by a certain number so if you pick a high a number the animation will move slower pick a low number the animation will move faster so let's go 500 here and then just go enter like that and now we already have something a little bit interesting going on so what we can do next there is go back into the compositor and you can play around with these uh, irritation levels here and i found that the best is actually to set this irritation level to two then you have have the more light won't blend as much so you will see more detail um let's um of course this is a little bit hard tutorial to make it's just a little bit advanced stuff and you need to go back and forth and all of that but now we have something like this that doesn't look too good um I'll just show you real quick if we just bring in now let's uh, go into the render properties here and scroll all the way down to color management and set this view transform to this pbr natural and here we can play around with exposure and the gamma i think i choose the wrong object to start off with here so i'm just going to create a circle real quick and then just bring it in like that and let me see so sometimes in life the tutorials uh, doesn't go my way but uh, that's how it is so let's uh yeah so you see the difference there so i picked this maybe a little bit too over complicated shape but with a ring sorry <coughs> but with a simple ring we're gonna have something way more cooler looking right so um so let's just continue off with this thing here and uh, what we can do as well so we can duplicate this ring perhaps and now we have sort of like this really cool tunnel going on and um, yeah so back to the beginning of the video where i talked about just pick a shape and do that but uh, maybe not do the most uh, complex shape this effect works better with um, a little bit the easier geometry so this was actually pretty cool and um, what we can do now is show you how we can take this and um, animate it in a perfect loop so you have so you can stack this uh, animation and uh, just create the endless animation so if you go into this mapping here so we already put in a driver so let's just delete this driver like that and um, say that we want to create an animation now of this in a perfect loop 
we can go back into the first frame here in the timeline and all we need to do to do this is just animate some of these values and make the first frame become exactly the same as the last frame so if we go with the y here we're going to have this effect um here so this will just rotate the entire thing around but if you go with the y in the rotation here in the mapping you see that we are rotating the material so need to bring in a little bit more light as well so let's just bring up the mission so we can see here so let's start off with um, going to frame zero like that and then go i for insert now just select the node and we can see that we have some keyframes here at frame zero and if you jump to the last frame what we can do is um, set this y to 360 like that and go enter and then go y again and now we have an end um, keyframe at the last frame and we can go i right click on the timeline and set the interpolation mode the style of the speed of this animation to linear now we have this pretty cool looking thing right and the style you saw in the beginning uh, were maybe a little bit more advanced and cooler looking and that is because i used a different image and because i had a um, different shape right but this is the blueprint on the how you can create these really cool looking trippy and abstract animations so that is all have a great day and peace out